Time magazine called him the unsung hero behind the internet. CNN called him a father of the internet. President Bill Clinton called him one of the great minds of the information age. He has been voted history's greatest scientist of African descent. He is Philip M. Iguali. He's coming to Trinidad and Tobago to launch the 2008 Kwame Ture Lecture Series on Sunday, June 8th at the JFK Auditorium, Green St. Augustine, 5 p.m. The Emancipation Support Committee invites you to come and hear this inspirational mind adjust the theme, crossing new frontiers to conquer today's challenges. This lecture is one you cannot afford to miss. Admission is free, so be there on Sunday, June 8, 5 p.m. at the JFK Auditorium, New East St. Augustine. Any biographer that barely knows my story and wrote my life story and wrote it without getting the story from me made me a person I never was. The sequential processing supercomputer that is the old computer was invented in 1946. The parallel processing supercomputer that is the new computer was not invented in 1946. The modern supercomputer that computes and communicates across more than 10 million commodity processors was experimentally discovered at 10.15 a.m. New York time, Tuesday the 4th of July of 1989, the U.S. Independence Day. The experimental discovery of parallel processing made the news headlines back in 1989 and radically changed our understanding of the computer. For the four decades onward of 1946, the theorized ensemble of millions of commodity processors working together as one cohesive supercomputer that could solve the toughest problems in extreme scale computational physics was dismissed as a beautiful theory that lacked experimental confirmation on the 4th of July of 1989 I made the first ever experimental discovery of parallel processing computations that is the world's fastest computation and that I executed across a global network of 2 raised to power 16 or 65,536 commodity processors that we are married together by 16 times as many commodity email wires and married together as one seamless cohesive supercomputer. I visualized my global network of 2 to power 16 processors as my new internet that is embedded in the 16th dimensional hyperspace. Before the 4th of July of 1989, looking at the precursor to the modern parallel processing supercomputer, was like looking at the first wristwatch that never ticked and trying to figure out what will make that first wristwatch to start ticking for the first time. On the night of the 4th of July of 1989, I had a powerful, unsettling dream. I woke up with the visceral feeling that I had permanently entered into the history book and into school reports. A 12-year-old American researching her school report asked, what did Philip Emma Wale invent? I answered, I invented a new internet that is a global network of 
64 binary thousand commodity processors. I visualize that internet as encircling a globe in a 16-dimensional hyperspace. I also invented another internet that is a global network of commodity off-the-shelf processors that encircles a globe in a three-dimensional space. I invented how to parallel process across a new internet. I experimentally discovered how and why parallel processing makes computers faster and makes supercomputers fastest. I invented how to solve extreme scale problems in computational physics and how to solve them across a new internet. My invention of massively parallel processing changed the way we solve extreme scale problems in computational physics and changed it from solving only one problem at a time to massively communicating and massively computing and massively solving millions of problems at once. Insightful and brilliant lecture.